Hello, everybody. My name is Spar Kelly, and I am so excited to be reading for you all today. Today, I will be reading Harriet Gets Carried Away, and with permission by Simon and Schuster Publishing. This is written by Jesse Sima. So Harriet gets carried away. Let's see what happens. Oh, Harriet loves costumes. I know I do too. She didn't save them for Halloween or only wear them to dress up at birthday parties. Harriet wore costumes all the time. On the morning of her own dress-up birthday party, Harriet was a busy bee. We still need to pick up some snacks from the grocery store, her dad said. And lots of party hats, Harriet added. Her dad shared a look. Okay, they said, but don't get carried away. Harriet was sure she could manage that. Her little bee costume and her dad's getting the party ready. So exciting. She changed into her extra special errand running costume. Straightened her bow tie, waddled down the street, and through the subway. Oh, she's in her penguin costume. She's so lucky. And into the store, her dad's had seemed to have the deli counter covered. So Harriet set out on a quest for the perfect party hats. But instead, she found something else. Harriet forgot all about the party hats. Look at her having so much fun with these penguins. She waddled past the checkout lines and through the city and out of town. Where are we going? Harriet asked excitedly. Back home, of course, a penguin answered. The city is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. As the balloons floated farther and farther, Farther from the city, Harriet's thoughts floated back to her birthday party. Excuse me, said Harriet. I don't think I belong here. That's okay, the penguins replied. Everyone feels like they don't fit in sometimes. Maybe you should lose the bow tie. But Harriet didn't care about fitting in. She cared about getting back to the store. So she straightened her bow tie and hatched a plan. Uh-oh, 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 and another. Oh, 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 things were not going smoothly. Harriet was almost out of ideas when one emerged from the sea. Hey, said the orca. You're not a penguin. How did you know, cried Harriet. Penguins don't wear bow ties, he replied. Harriet realized this orca might just be her ticket home. She told him her tale of costumes and penguins and hot air balloons. She told him all about her family in the city and the party hat she needed to find. And when her story was finished, she said, I could really use a lift. It just so happens I'm heading up north for a family reunion, replied the orca. I could drop you off along the way in exchange for a fancy red bow tie. This seems like a fair trade. As the orca swam, Harriet daydreamed. Once Harriet could make out the city in the distance, the orca came to a halt. This is as far as I can go, he said. 
So Harriet called in a friend from some friends that she knew from the park. That's a lot of people you know. We'll take it from here, they said. Oh, they got the birds involved. She got them to fly her all the way home. Harriet soared back into the store and headed straight for the party hats. Party supplies. It didn't take long to pick out the perfect ones. They're the only ones left on the shelf. She found her dad's at the deli. Just where she left them. Oh, thank goodness. Where did you sneak off to? They asked. I just went to get party hats. Harriet replied. Oh, and I could use a bow tie. With hats in hand, Harriet waddled back through the subway, up the street, and into her room. She put on her birthday party costume, straightened her party hat, and headed up to the roof. The party was a great success, and no one got carried away. Look, she has all her friends in costumes over here, too. Except maybe Olivia. Oh, Olivia got carried away by wolves. And that is the end. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. My name is Spark Kelly, and that was Harriet Gets Carried Away. Be careful wearing your favorite costume, or you might be mistaken for a penguin, too. Once again, that was read with the permission of Simon and Schuster Publishing. And all of these books are available at your local Chicago Public Library. Thank you so very much.